Hello, welcome back to Clep's Garage. Hey, today we're going to redo a, um, a video, basically. You remember uh, the Drag Race video, episode 68? That's where I got a brush a couple of miles to see, how, to see how fast they go. Because there was a non-challenge from Cold War Motors up in the, in the, the North Country, eh? That, uh, that didn't really challenge anybody, but all of us YouTubers seem to be taken as a challenge. Well, apparently... I didn't read the rules right. You're supposed to start off with a clapped out motor Model T and then finish up with one that's, you know, nice and redone. So you saw my Model T that was all redone and nice. I do have a clapped out all original 1913 Model T Ford that's never been restored. It's in the same shape that it was when my dad bought it in 1951. In fact, it still has the same tires on it. And for all those of you that think that those tires are too old, they're uh, Montgomery Wards, and I don't think you can ever wear them out. They're still good. Anyhow, the car is back there. So uh, I kind of got to dig it out. And I haven't had it out in at least, uh, well, let's see, I moved out here at four divided by three times five, uh, at least 15 years. So anyhow, um, we're <laughs> going to see if this thing runs today. We're gonna lay down a quarter mile. Woohoo! Won't this be exciting? But first, I gotta move some stuff. All right, so uh, we're gonna dig out the old 13 Model T that's buried back here. And uh, well, I guess uh, I just have to move this, but I also gotta move uh, yeah, just these four cars here. Fortunately, they all run, batteries are in them, so it's just a matter of pulling everything out. We'll see if that's what goes. On a start. Yeah. Dang thing runs. Mr. Mustang. All right, we'll try these two. They're a little bit uh, harder to get out because they're wedged in here. And they haven't been started in a week or two, so it might take a little bit longer to start these. We'll find out. Or am I going to battery in this? Ugh. Wait till I get all the way in here and then decide if I ain't got a battery or not. Hmm, It'd be a lot easier at the top down. Oh, huh? It's not cooperating. Now it's cooperating.
one horsepower, that'd be me. Turn myself into a horse, of course. Okay. Well, let's see what the tea looks like. Now I got it unburied. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, there it is. So it looks like I got it jacked up. Oh, great, the back's jacked up too. Well, this might take longer than I thought it was going to take. Oh, boy. Hmm. Well, these non-challenges are really challenging. <coughs> that's annoying. Let me try this one. Yeah, that's the original horn. This was a parade horn I think my dad put on back in the day. Well, might as well use this thing. That's the uh, slow mode there. This is fast mode. There, antique uh, jack used to move around cars back in the day. Okay, so got the front end off the jack. Uh, you know, I talked about these tires being really old. Uh, you're probably thinking these are run flat tires. They're just so hard that, you know, there's no air in them. They just, they're up. They are up. That is on jack stands, but uh, let's just check and see how much air is in these things. I hear air. Huh. Mm. So it's right at 30. 30 pounds still in them tires. Important tip, never put junk underneath the car because then you can't get to it. What a pain in the butt. You know, somebody wouldn't park these things so dang close together. I wouldn't have this problem. Of course, if, uh, if I didn't have this dang many cars in here, I wouldn't have this problem either. Oh well, sounds like a personal problem to me. I wonder if that's up high enough. Oh, I think so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be fun to get to the other side. I can't wait. So, uh, this is a pair of uh, jack stands made back in the day. This is off of a rear axle off of a car. I don't think it's Model A. It's even got the bearing race still in here. So this is the rear axle. They cut off the end, put a V-notch in it. Voila, set of jack stands. Now I gotta get the other one out. <coughs> Ooh, I can get there, but it ain't gonna be pretty. You know what? I'm gonna lose this white shirt. <laughs> It's the only one I got, really. All right, so I put my clothes on. Doesn't matter if I get dirty because it won't show. Black, gray, black, you know, I get dirt on. Nobody will know. All right, whose idea was this again? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was watching that Flivver channel, and he said he was using an original tee. And I felt bad because I guess I didn't read the rules. Come to think of it, I don't remember any rules. Ugh. A little grissy down here. There's like a. I'm gonna help with this handle here. I can't. I can't get there from here. How in the heck did I get these in there? <laughs> ah, there. You know, I could just used a stick. That'd have been a lot easier. Oh well. Hindsight's funny. Hey, right there's a stick too. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is so much fun. This way I get to see if the gas is turned on or not. <coughs> uh, hmm. Well, I think the handles broke off. I'm going to say that uh, probably if I put gas in it, it's going to make its way down the carburetor. Suppose I should let this down with me underneath of it. Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Well, the tires didn't blow out. Hey, the back ones are holding air too. <laughs> 
That's just amazing. All right, we'll try this. We got a tractor girl with us today. this side this side kind of looks like the other side just old and cruddy get an idea what that looks like like I said my dad bought this in 1951 other than the top the car hasn't changed I've run it on several tours it's just a good old car what do they call them things now goats greatest of all time yeah there you go it's got some oil in it uh, Fish and putting the water in it. I'm not to run down to make a gas run to the station there and uh, get some gasoline for it. My uh, test can seemed to be out. Oh, that's right. I ran out of gas in a little brush the other week. <clears throat> I may, <laughs> I may have run out of gas. Okay, I did run out of gas. I used all that can up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you go. There you go. I'll just put a gallon in this thing so it stays lightweight. What do you think? Huh. Boy, the old girl's kind of thirsty. So this might be the uh, only advantage I have over you guys. Because I do have four rebuilt coils. And uh, they're good and hot. But that's going to be the only thing that's been done to this car uh, over the years. I think we're about ready to try this. I'm going to have to jack up the back wheel because this one's a runner. It likes to take off and chase you. I think it's possessed. It says, chase me. I wonder if I can get away just jacking up to one side. We'll try it. That ought to do it. All right, we'll turn the gas on. Or not. Everything's stiff on this thing for some reason. I wonder why. Now we'll see if we're getting any gas. Got gas. Okay. Well, we'll give it a whirl. What if this thing's still running? How about that? I don't suppose I can get lucky and turn it on and it'll start. Ooh, almost. Time. That's not 
not too bad. Whoops. That's not too bad. It's been sitting for, yeah, I don't know, 15 to 20 years. Hey, it still runs on mag, too. That's burning off. Notice the back wheel going roundy round. I guess you can see that. Now you say, well, how do you stop that? Oh, that's easy. Two ways. One, put it in first gear. Or two, have a helper drop it. And I have a helper with me. So we'll try putting it first. Try in reverse. Still going roundy round. <laughs> well, we'll try dropping it. Got a block under it. I suppose it'll stay. Ah, about that. Could it be that easy? Yes, it's just that easy. I did say I was going to take this down the road because I wanted to get it running. So it is kind of dark. I got headlights. They're not real bright. No day sights though. Ooh, is it dark in here? We're still going to do a quarter tomorrow because I want to get it good and warmed up. And I probably change the oil. I just want to see if it's going to run. Successful night. Guess I'll turn off my headlights. Don't have no uh, warning buzzer. Hey, it's race day. Let's get this old black beauty out. And see what she'll do today. I've got uh, race mode on. Windshields down. Back curtains up. Had it running last night. Ran it a little bit today. Got it up to temperature. We're gonna see what an all stock original 1913 Model T Ford does in a quarter. All right, let's look at the power plant. I know I said this was a 1913. All UT guys are going to say, you know, it's got a 14 body on it. Well, you're correct. However, the build date of this car is 12-4 of 13. 
So it's a 13 title, which I have, and it's got a 14 body on it because Ford was known to change stuff mid-year. Notice the old leather belt that's on there. Isn't that nice? Still has the old wiring except for the mag wire. I did have to change that. I forgot about that. So we're uh, running a low head. It's got a uh, new day timer on it that was on it when we got the car. Has an NH carburetor. It's been on there the whole time. Looks like it's had some uh, brazing work done back in the day. And other than that, uh, I think that's even a steel. I'm pretty sure that's a steel intake manifold. I don't even think that's a high volume. So there you go. There's the power plant we're working with. All right, outside temperature is 85. Track temperature is 91. Cars warmed up. Yeah, somewhere in here. Cars warmed up, ready to go. Let's see what she'll do. There you go, uh, where's the camera, there it is. Um, 29.76 and a bone stock Model T. Uh, I think, I think I beat Cole Waller in his bone stock on it, and I think I'm real close to Randy should by the track when his modified them. So, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Whatever it's worth, see what else somebody else can do. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Touch Drive. Like I always say, drive them if you got them. We'll see you next time. I will wait again. I'm gonna start over. Curse you vehicles! What's with all the traffic? Nobody ever goes by here. Must have heard there was a drag race today. All right, it's race day. I dug this Black Beauty out. Got it running last night. Took it for a little drive. Uh, fired it up today. Got it up to temperature. We're in race mode. We got the windshield down. We got the back curtain rolled up. I don't think it makes a difference if the top is up or down. I gotta start this over. It's race day. Yeah. What's with the cars? Curse you, automobiles! 
We'll try this again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, we'll try to get this done before it rains because that's rain down south, but it's not really uh, up here.